Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. In a sneak peek video, I introduced you to this Fidal TRM, which means tool room mill, uh, as an upcoming project. And I've kind of decided right now what, which way I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Centroid Oak, and I'm going to test it with the DMM Technologies DYN4 AC servo drives and the 1.2 kW AC servos. I have them on order. Uh, the Z-axis is going to get a motor with a brake. It, it requires it, needs it. And we're going to put 1.2 kW uh, motors on X and Y, which is more than is needed on this machine. But that's what DMM has in NEMA 42 frames. So that, that means that the frame will be a direct bolt onto the machine. The coupler will be a direct, should be a direct bolt onto the shaft because they're, they're imperial shafts and it's a standard NEMA 42 frame. That's what's on this machine now. They say Fidal motors, but I know they're made by Glentec for Fidal. So the control on this thing has already been sold. It's helped offsetting the cost of this project. Um, so, anyway, that's what it's going to be. That's what we're going to try and demonstrate to you. Uh, DMM Technologies DYN4 and the DMM Technologies uh, NEMA 42 1.2 kW AC servos along with Centroid Oak. Uh, and that's where it's going to be. And if the machine sticks around long enough, we might try a different combination of uh, motion controller in here. Uh, but we'll see. So anyway, just a quickie update on the Fadal. Um, the next video will show you me removing the components from this machine and uh, uh, kind of basic teardown and maybe we'll just kind of discuss some strategy and so forth. But right now parts are on order from DMM Technologies to get this thing retrofitted. So until next time, talk to you soon.